Hi friends, we are currently in the middle of building up our little city on this very difficult terrain. And in the last video, we set up several plantations. We set up a little bit of industry here with the lumber, me lumber mill and the logging camp. And we have some of our mines set up over here and in this episode our main goal is going to be getting out of the colonial era so we need to increase our support we also need to make sure that we're bringing in some money and i also want to work on getting more people to the island so we can fill up all these jobs so that the efficiency of our workplaces are um at the highest capacity that we can possibly get them so let's get started here i'm gonna hit play we are at two years four months for our edict and we need to make sure that we are getting more edicts uh or excuse me more demands as to where we can extend the mandate and um, I currently could buy, I believe I can buy, oh, whoops, I just clicked it. I just bought a mandate extension, which is what I was going to do anyways, but I was going to explain it a bit first. But anyways, I just did that. So we bought a little bit of an extended mandate. So now we have three years, 10 months. So that's going to help us out. We are also in the middle of finishing a trade here, I believe. We have trades going for the crown. And this one, we need to fulfill an export trade route with the crown. So we have a couple going, but we have a couple open trades here. I'm going to, nope, just one open trade, negative 3,000. So I can't buy another one, but I'm going to fill up this open trade here with anything that we possibly can. We are producing fish. Um, we are producing gold. That might be a good one to do. Planks, looks like they want to give us extra money for planks. So let's set that up right now. I'm tempted. Yeah, I'm tempted to do this one. But that is going to... Mm, I don't think it's really all that much worth it because it's going to take forever to get... To, uh, to get this fulfilled. So, and I only have three trade routes. So I'm just gonna do this short one here. Um, yeah, I'll just accept that. I'm gonna speed this up a bit. And if I do start getting money in, which hopefully I will here in a minute because we are starting to go into the negative. That's the thing with this island is this is one of those islands where you kind of have to build what you can when you can. And when you go into the negative, you kind of have to just wait, fast forward if you can and wait for your money to come in because it's a little bit of a slow build on this one because there is just such a it's such a weird island to build on. Oh, see, here we go. We just got uh, 12,000 here in our freighter. So we were already negative six. So we have positive six now. That's great. So while I have this positive six, I just want to check and see what I need to do. First things first, we need to get our support way up because look, it's terrible. It's terrible right now. It is bad. So to fix that, what I need to do is start placing newspapers. These are going to be huge for improving our support. So I want to put these wherever there are any people living, any homes, near homes, near shacks, whatever. And I want at least one over here in a good spot. Where's going to be a good spot? Let's see. Right there? Yeah. That's good. I like it. Okay, and... Hmm. I am going to kind of start building up this area a little bit. 
Let me see. I think I actually need, yes, I need one more pirate grove and it can fit over there. So I'm going to put that right over there. And then eventually we will have all four of these done. I'm going to make sure these are all going, um, they're all doing their raids. Okay. Which they are. Perfect. Okay, so that's good. One of them is working on this rescue aid raid. Excuse me. Um, we're about to finish this one because I just planted the fourth pirate cove. Um, yep, we've got that going. Two rescue raids going. That's good. All right. Uh, all right. I'm gonna hit play. And just let these get going. I'm going to change all these to profit protocol, all the mines. So to do that, I'm going to hit control and click, and that's going to change every mine to profit protocol. I also need to start maybe hiring some people. We are low on money, but I want more people on the island as quickly as possible. So once I start getting some money in again, I may start hiring some people. I do want to make sure I have enough Teamsters offices. So I believe I built some in the last video. I did. I might want to build. Let's see how many. You know what we can do to just double check how many we have here is we go to the almanac building list. Um, traffic and infrastructure Teamsters offices. Okay, so I only have three. And then I also have some Teamsters ports. And if I, I can upgrade these for $1,200 and get six extra job posi positions. Right now there is zero. So that's basically like building another Teamsters office for each of these. Um, low on money, but I'm gonna do one of them. I'm gonna do one of them. That's like building one Teamsters office and that's gonna help us get- Your coves are ready. Never seen so many hooked hands, okay. wooden legs, and I revere Langostino. Most jumbo okay, guard towers we need to build. So having the te extra Teamsters office is gonna help um, move all of our sort of plantation products and other products where they need to go. So like they would come here, take the logs here down to here, and give them to the lumber mill so that they can produce. Planks. And then planks would get taken to the dock here so that we can sell them for money. Hopefully we start making more money than that. That's pathetic. <laughs> I say, Governor, I'm hearing some delicious rumors have a about your island. So this is an optional Someone quest and kingship, eh? I don't know if I necessarily see the point of having a tannery because we can't produce the product for it. I'd have to import hides. So, and since I'm at a point right now where I don't have that many um, trade offers open, it's just going to bog me down, I think, right now. So I'm going to discard this. Let's not leave any money on the table, mm. Governor. Oh, they just where gave us another pirates, one. There's rum. For a rum so distillery. Hmm, you know, I might accept this one because it might be good for our industry. I'd still have to import sugar, but the export of rum might be worth it. So I'll accept now that for now. Sir, I can always change my mind. If you need help, I can always give you a hand or the boot. So we have an option to buy a mandate extension again, which I'm going to keep a close eye here on our mandate to make sure um, if we need it, it'll be here. It's I can find it here in this little tab, but I'm not going to pay for it right now because we are still in the negative here. So I'm waiting for this crown 
uh, export trade to fulfill. I'm kind of wondering what's taking so long because it thinking it should have been done by now so we're trying to export coffee that's kind of going rubber is kind of going uh planks that's gonna get done real fast uh maybe i should have done the the older one the bigger one but oh well so we should be able to fulfill this pretty quickly and extend our man mandate that way all right so it looks like our newspapers got built and I am going to change these to the independent um so this changing these to independent is going to increase our support from the revolutionaries so I'm going to hit control and then click independent and that's going to change all of the ones that are built so that I don't have to go through and find them and change them all individually so yep yeah. see that one's been changed All right. Perfect. I must say I'm glad to be still working with you. Finding good help is so difficult. These so we days. just fulfilled this trade route with the crown. So I'm going to hit um, extend mandate. And that's got us up to three years again. And we got some money coming in. So I actually I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go find uh the mandate extension that we can purchase which is going to extend it again so now we're up to four years now we're at 52 percent support right now so that now that we changed the newspapers to independent and we're going to start getting i'm going to start hiring people um oh and we are getting attacked so and i believe i did build a yeah i built a fort so they should be running out there they are to go defend our building so anyway so now that we have this built and we're going to start improving the support here um it should go up it should keep going up the new pirates are learning the ropes governor all right we're going to take la the revolutionaries more revolutionaries perfect and now since I have some money coming in now, I am going to start hiring workers, which is going to help us even more. More, Governor. More. Always more. Okay. Another crown, the crown demand. Crown. They need us to arrest a revolutionary. We will do that real quick. Let me pause. We're going to go to Almanac. People. So Special. No, I'm going to go to politics, click on revolutionaries, and I'm going to click on moderate and help you? just arrest the first poor little guy that's uh, on here. And we do have, yes, we do have a dungeon and i have it switched to convict labor which is good so i have one two three four five open spaces here for um, convicts which will help us to also earn a little bit of more money from them so while i'm at it i'm going to go back to people special citizens and perfect we have five oh, sorry, criminals please. to arrest that one's already in jail. That one's already in jail. Okay, we have a couple criminals to arrest. All right, so we got all these people getting arrested. Um, we're going to get attacked over here, looks like, based on this little icon above our library. And I don't want to lose my library. So we're going to quickly build a fort right over here on this island. And I'm going to quick build that. All right. Perfect. So now, oh, well, let's bump up uh, the budget here so that we can start getting workers in faster. And all right. Now, 
We did just build this uh, a little bit ago. So let me hit pause real quick again. So now I want to make sure that these people are running out and doing raids just like all these other three. So we're going to go to the raids screen down here. And as you can see, number one, number two, and number three are currently working on raids. Number four has not been set up to do anything. So they are just sitting there just doing nothing. Okay, and before I start a raid, because you can't change this work mode once you've started a raid, um, you want to make sure to change it before you start one to on a dead man's chest. Go back to the raid screen. Click on here, number four. And if I want them to do some sort of repetitive job, um, I will shift and click. And I'm going to have them repetitively, repetitively rescue people because we need people on our island to fill the jobs. So look at this. We've got $24,000 right now. So we are starting to bring in some good money. So our industry is finally catching up with the amount of people who are able to work and do the jobs and the types of industry that we have set up. So, yeah, we got some good workers here. We need more workers over here in these. So I'm just going to hire just a few people here. And I'm just going to go around, check these buildings, get some workers. And if I find that I've hired people in some of these places, plantations here and if I come back and I find that they're back to one that tells me that I need to bump up the um the budget to entice people to stay in that position um but if I hire these people and they all stay working here I may not need to do that so we will just keep an eye on that real quick and uh, once I hit play I'll just keep an eye on it but I want to just check a lot of these here. Get a couple extra people over here working. Um, I do want to... 21,000 dollars. I do want to go back here to the buildings, traffic, and the, the uh, Teamsters port. And I know I upgraded one of these to deck hands and now I'm going to upgrade the other one to deck hands as well so that we have some extra jobs here extra people running around moving moving goods around the city all right and also since we have some money coming in I do want to put a teamsters port over here no I have one yes Okay, I have Teamsters port over here. Now, nobody's working on this Teamsters port, and that's probably because there's not a lot of enticing things on this particular part of the island here for these. Like these workers, I'm surprised people are working here, but they are building shacks to live in. So right now, I want to provide some kind of luxury for these guys, because right now, they're having to drive over here, get into the port, come over here, get off here, and if they need to go maybe to the chapel, that's where they go. Or if they need entertainment, they go and they find a tavern or whatever. But I don't want them to have to leave this island as much as possible. So I want to build some housing. I want to build some uh, a grocery uh, chapel for sure and some sort of entertainment for them. So that is going to help people to definitely stay working at the Teamsters port for sure but also working at these other places that I'm about to build as well. So you just got to keep them uh, as, as happy as possible with the least amount of things possible. So because there is going to be quite a lot of people living in this area, I'm going to do more than just a tavern. I'm going to do a circus. I'm going to buy the circus and I'm going to build a circus over here for them. And I'm also, because these guys are going to want some more entertainment too. So I'm going to build a circus over here for these guys to go to as well. And if I had more room over here, I would build another one. But there's not a lot of room. I could do one here. But do I want to? 
because this would be a really good spot for or uh fish but i could also do a fisher here yeah let's do a fisher person there and connect that and then maybe yeah maybe i will do a circus over here circuses are great because you can also make a little extra money from them once you change their work mode but you do have to research which i may have already done let me say, let me check um yes i have researched circus so once those get built, I can uh, change the work mode and make a little extra money off of people who visit. This one is about to get researched, uh, employee of the month. So that will allow us to make people do double shifts at the mine. So that's gonna be good once that gets researched. All right, so I've got a couple things going. Now I'm gonna hit play. Um, these people are fighting over here. I think we just won, actually. Oh, looks like we just lost our workers here. So I'm going to bump this up. I'm going to start bumping up budgets when I see that places don't have workers. Because at this point, there should be enough workers coming in to at least fill a couple of these positions. So if they're still really low, it means either I'm not paying enough or... The other thing it could mean is, yep, happiness is not great right now for us. So we are going to really have to start working on happiness. So that means bumping up budgets, um, building houses, and uh, providing just a ton of entertainment, which we are sort of starting on right now with the circus. Okay, so this one got built change it to beasts and blood and that is going to give us an extra um two dollars per visitor all right oh well, this we just got an ex uh, mandate extension, so we're going to accept me, that. I need a teensy, tiny and we need to do more trade routes for the crown here. So I'm going to do... I only have one available. We're down to now negative 2,000. So let's see what we can do. Um, Let's do another gold, I think. Yes, gold. We'll do a gold. Okay, so I got the... Oh, that went real fast. Well, you did the right. There we go. We're up to five years, ten months. Viva la revolucion. Together, Lovely. I'm going to grab the revolutionaries because we do need people working here on the island. We just jumped up to 10,000. Oh, down to 8,000. So we're not doing too shabby. We are... Um, we really need to get out of the colonial area... Um, excuse me, era, in order to help us to um, increase our happiness because right now the Caribbean happiness is just blowing us out of the water which could mean that people are moving away from the island because they're not happy with um, what I'm providing at the moment okay another circus just got um, built so I'm going to change that we should start making money from these people and this one um, I've changed uh, with the sh holding down control so that one changed automatically now, cool, cool, we've got our chapel built, we've got the grocery built. So now, all these people can go to the grocery instead of having to go all the way over here to get their food from a plantation or wherever. I can also build a dungeon. Okay, we can do another dungeon here in a second. I can also build a fisherman's wharf for these guys over here and that will help to feed them as well and we'll just connect that to a road and voila get that built we're at seven thousand that's good i might as well just quick build this now and then change this so that we have um it's also producing shellfish now we're down to zero bucks basically Mm 
now our support went way down wow way down and that's got to be because of the the happiness the overall happiness i'm sure so let's see what we can we can't really do much about health care at this point because we don't have access to some of those faith uh, we could always increase the faith uh, more chapels could help so we'll just go ahead and start building some chapels around the town and let's see need another one over here as well we might um now the other thing this could help us hmm, pause real quick so i can explain so the chapels can help us with our health care um right now because health care we don't have any other access to like um what are they called uh, clinics. We don't have access to the clinics or the hospital. So right now, the only health care people can get right now is going to be from the chapel. But in order to do that, we need to change all of the chapels to help first, preach later. And what's that, what that's going to do is going to, um, if the visitor has a low health care happiness, lower than 25, they will also receive health care services with a quality of 25. So it's, it'll help a little bit. It's not great, but it'll help just a touch. So right now we need all the help we can get. All right, so we'll hit uh, play. And as these chapels get built over here, I will change those as well. Newspapers are working. I don't know why everyone's so unhappy. It's just got to be the unhappiness level right now. Just the amount I of... Ask myself, Overall happiness here. Um, yeah. The only thing we can do is try to bump it up. Bump it up. We need more fun. We need way more fun. All right, so we're going to build some opera houses and theaters and bump up their fun happiness. And try to get this in a good location where people can access it easily, which is not going to be over here. Uh, no, this isn't, this, there's no good spot for this, so I'm going to have to try and shove it over here somewhere. All right, let's go in there. And do a theater over there and a theater kind of over here. Right, you... Yeah, I'll put that right there. Uh, start focusing on uh, building some bunk houses now as well, because that'll help us with our housing happiness. So we will throw in several here, maybe some country houses. And voila. We do need to build that dungeon. So we're going to build a dungeon over here. I think this is an okay spot for it. I'm going to put that on high priority. There we go. We're going to build some guard towers. I kind of want these to be sort of maybe near the, uh, the palace. So, I think we only need the two. Well, you did the right thing. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to change this to convict later, labor, and I'm going to see if there's any more people we can... May just arrest and if there's not any criminals I may just go arrest um, some royalists let's get rid of some of these diehard royalists may help you I am sorry not today please what did he mean by that 
Let me just arrest all these people. Then we can start making money from them. Okay. So, I'm going to finally build our rum distillery. Put that right there. More, Governor. More. Oh. We'll accept that real quick. I will going to change the chapel. So we should really start to see improvement in our happiness. Let's see. Let's do some more taverns all around. Those will be a, light, a nice little easy entertainment building. Bump up some of the budgets here. Might bump up the budget there just to increase the job quality because that helps with happiness as well. Uh, we need more people over here. I might do this to all the way up for these because I really need people working here and producing. Alright, let's see how these people are doing over here. Looks like we're not doing too bad for these guys. I mean, we only have one worker, but... As you can see, the, uh... The customers aren't blowing in. So... Entertainment is in demand, that's for sure. So Governor, maybe we... I am here to report perfectly. Um, Something does perfect. not feel okay. quite right, Governor. All right, so now as soon as we can bump up our revolutionary approval to 60, we can move out of this era and we can start really um, making some money at that point. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give these guys a little bit of a tavern. And so they have extra entertainment. That should help them out. And then... We also should probably give them some houses over here. I think that really will help some, with some of the happiness issues that we have going on right now. So I'm going to give them a couple monk houses, a couple uh, country houses. And there we go. Our revolution is as yet only except the revolutionaries. Uh, rum distillery is built and now we're just waiting for sugar to come in now I have one of my pirates cove um, I believe one of them is constantly running out to yeah they're, they're running out to loot coconut sugar and wool so they should be bringing back sugar on a regular basis to help out here so that we can produce rum and then sell the rum at a much higher price and get us a good amount of money coming in. Logging camp is working really good. Okay. Oh, see, here is an upgrade we really would like to get here. I'm going to click that right now while I can. So that decreased the sugar consumption by 25%. That is a very good upgrade to get. We have a lot of people attacking us. Okay, good. Look, our support is starting to go right back up. I'm happy with that. Corruption is so rife, Governor, uh, that we have to pay a to find out how and, much. Okay, yeah, sure. All right, so I'm happy with that. I am thinking I want to do another mm, newspaper. Where do we find you? Yes, newspaper over here. Let's put you right there. We'll get these people thinking in my direction. And might as well get another one right there, too. We can put you 
right. All right, let's do some more houses. Back here, we'll put some houses. I am going to kind of add a guard tower, maybe over here too, just for the heck of it. All right, trade route. We need a crown. Crown. No, oh, see, that's what's going on. We don't have any trade routes going. Okay. One gold. That'll happen quickly. Banana. That should happen fairly quickly. Coal. Same. So, perfect. And, nope, I can't. I could open. Yeah, let's open another, another one here. Make sure this is for export. Sometimes it'll say import. And, um, you miss that sometimes. And, but if it just says fulfill a trade route, it doesn't matter if it's an import or an export trade route. So let's see, maybe we import some sugar here. Let's see if we can find some. There we go. And it's not, it's going to cost a, a ton to import though, unfortunately. Yeah. All right, we're just going to do it. Well, that happened fast. I must say <laughs> I'm glad to extend mandate. Perfect. Going to rebuild. I'm going to import sugar again. Um, I'm going to do this one. It's not going to make the crown happy, but I don't care. The people of Tropical love you all. Okay, perfect. As much as we I can exit them. this we era. We have reached 61% support. Lovely. I'm going to unfortunately prepare for war. <laughs> So, I'm going to hit that. We need at least one fort. Feisty little colony, uh, aren't we? So, what this means is that we are going to get attacked. And we need to build... I mean, I have a fort here. And I have a fort on the other island. It could be enough. Um, I want at least one more fort. It would make me feel better. Let me just hit save. And just in case, <laughs> I need to go back. But I think we're good. I think we're okay. Let's bump up the budget here and maybe hire some people to come in. Let's check this fort out over here. Where are you? There you are in front of my face. There's enough people here, so they're coming over here to help out. Um... And unfortunately, this isn't even the war that we're pre preparing for. This is just a random attack. So they're coming over here to attack our circus, it looks like. So I do want to build... I do want to build another fort up here. Yeah. Now this, this is interesting because this means that the gold or the uh, storage is full for this building. So that means that Teamsters are not, not enough Teamsters are working in the city to help the flow of goods. So I do want to build another Teamsters office as soon as I am able to do that. And I'm going to have to wait for some more money to come in. The rum's going down well. Hmm. Down New down. export as well for as rum. And Let's check that out. Perfect. We have some open trade routes here. Let's find that rum export. Is this it? It might be that one. It's 20. No, is that that one? No. It's an export. So it's. Ah, uh, here it is. So this is great. An extra 20,000 for rum, or sorry, excuse me, 
20% for rum. Um, I am tempted here to do this one. However, I don't think we'll make it because as soon as we reach um, the next era, all of our trades will be wiped out. So anything we're in the middle of the progress of fulfilling will just be wiped out. So I think I'm going to have to just go with this short one here. And hope it gets fulfilled before we move on to the next era. We are getting attacked a lot. Are we currently in the war? I don't think so. Do the ends justify being mean before independence? Yeah, we got some days before the real war comes. So this is just people not being happy with us. All right, so some of these, like this with this little icon here, means that the building is damaged. We need to repair it. Yeah, these are all pirates coming to hurt us. Yeah, they are not happy. I'm going to build and then some more guard towers over here. So I accidentally, um, accidentally on purpose, <laughs> quick built that by when I placed it, I hit control. And that means when you place it, it instantly builds itself. It also costs you money to do that. So uh, I'm going to hit rebuild on this. We are almost, um, as soon as we get here, we're going to have the real war coming to get us. Which generally, it happens quickly. Uh, I might as well upgrade all these for healthcare reasons. Let's see, this one's just now getting built. And I'm going to bump that up right away so we start getting workers here. That happened almost instantly. We do have some good amount of uh, money. I'm going to try and save that money now instead of spending it for hopefully we keep going up instead of down for when we up. Oh, here we go. Now we need to just survive the attack. All right. Let's see. Let's see what happens. They're coming to get us. Where are they? Rebuild as they knock down. Oh, there they are. Oh, no. And they're coming over here. You jerks. <laughs> I didn't even build any forts over here. Smart. You smart little jerks. All right. Let's just build that really quickly. <laughs> All right, I still want the Teamsters office to get built, so I'm going to find a place for that real quick. And I think, yep, I think right there is good, and I'm not going to quick build that. I'm just going to let that sit there. Looks like this is the crown coming, coming to attack. So they're stopping right there. And then these guys are going to go, looks like, oh, where are, you, where are you going? You getting stuck? I think they're in a battle here with this guard tower. I think that's one of these two guard towers, yeah. So they might get killed before they even, yep. Before they even land. That's nice. Well, I suppose you did rather well. All right, there we have it. Savages. We are ready to advance to world wars. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. And then in the next video, we will move on to what we do after we exit the colonial era. Okay, so we'll see you in the next video. And if you guys liked this video, please hit the like button, please subscribe, and I will see you next time.